Josh, a new contract. Congratulations. Thank you. Thoroughly deserved. What, what are your thoughts about it? Uh, obviously, I'm over the moon. I'm, I'm just delighted to get the opportunity to play here for the time on the contract and show what I can do to the manager and the club. What did the manager say to you about the new deal? What are the reasons behind it? Oh, he just said he, he, he really liked me, he really liked how I played and he wanted me to keep on showing that in training and in games when I, when I get the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's been quite a campaign for you, hasn't it? You, you, it was a strong pre-season, debut in August, then you, followed by your league debut, now a new contract. It's been a bit of a whirlwind, hasn't it? Yeah, obviously, you just got, it's hard work. I've just worked hard for it and when I've got the opportunity, I've tried to take it as best as I can and show the manager I can, I can be in and around the team. Did you always have that belief in your ability to, to make that big breakthrough, which you have done? Yeah, always. You've got, you've got to believe in yourself if you want to get to the highest place possible for you. So I think that's a big, big um, point that you've got to give yourself. So you've got to try and aspire to be as good as you can be. Mm -hmm. What would you say the differences you've found between 21s, 23s football and going into the championship? Tactically, it's a lot, it's a lot tougher. Obviously, you need to be a lot more switched on. You need to have the experience to know different situations and stuff. It's physically a bit tougher than 23s because obviously you're playing against big men who've been in the game for forever long. But it's, it's, I'm getting used to it, I think, and I think I'm adapting well to it. Your full league debut at Brentford, it was a big call to throw you in. How did you feel on that day and how did you feel you performed? I was, I was just excited. I was excited to get out of there from the first minute and obviously the first minute you you get a bit of not nerves but you get a bit of like this tension in you but after five minutes I settled completely and felt I was um, settling in the game. What's next? What what are your immediate and longer term aims now? I so just try and push to get in a starting position every week. So I'm doing when I try and help the team get to where they should be and that's in the playoffs and promotion uh, pushing. Must have been a nice boost for you when the manager said that you know you you'd gone in the, up the pecking order above Paul Caddis, who obviously a, a very popular figure at, at Blues. That must have been give, given you a, a real boost. Yeah, it does, because obviously Caddy's been in, the, been in the game for many, many years and he's a very good professional. So to hear that is obviously really confident. Give me a really big confident boost and to even believe in myself even more and show what I can do. With Paul obviously now moved on and Jonathan Spector, do you, do you see that opportunity now to cement that place either in the first team or in the squad or in and around things? Yeah, definitely. It's obviously it's a really positive sign that I've been given the opportunity to carry on playing here and hopefully I get more opportunities in the future. January window has just closed. A lot of players have come in. Some have been loaned out, some have gone out. What, what's it like from a player's perspective? What have you assessed at the sort of business that the manager in the club has done in the last four weeks? It's, it's a tough one. Obviously, he's brought in good quality players and hopefully they can add real quality to the team. We just need to put that into practice now on the, on the game days and show the club what we can do. And what's, what's it like to play for Gianfranco Zola? What, what, what's he like as a manager and how has maybe the training and the preparation changed? Yeah, he's a very good, very good manager. Obviously, he's different to the last gaffer in the way he does things in training and stuff, but it's a really interesting way to learn things, especially as a young player. He likes, he likes people playing, playing with the ball and making passes and keeping possession. And obviously young, all young players like doing that and like working hard and like getting forward, especially me as a fullback. He likes me getting forward and making things happen. So yeah, it's really, really good. And all the players and all the lads seem to be buying into it, seem to be enjoying it so far. Yeah, yeah, everyone's, everyone's enjoying the style of play. Obviously we're keeping more of the ball, everyone's working hard. We just need to, get that final bit and scoring goals and that's when the wins start coming. You touched upon it there about full-backs, attacking full-backs. You're a typical modern full-back, aren't you? Are those your main strengths, would you say, getting up and down that line? Because you're quite an athlete, as we all know. Yeah, yeah, obviously. It's a, a, it's, a, it's a good part of my game. I like working hard and like getting forward and like inputting on the attacking side, but I, I like defending as well. I like keeping goals out and I don't like losing. So, yeah, it's, it's a really big part. Take us back a couple of years ago, because it's not always been plain sailing. You, you know, I remember in the 21s, I think you were the captain at the time, you had a really uh, good start to the season, then you got an injury, and it was coming up to sort of contract time, wasn't it? Was that a, a concerning period for you or not? Uh, there was thoughts in my head where, obviously, I was concerned. But I knew that at the time I couldn't do anything about it. I just had to show I was determined to get back and do better than I previously did. 
and hopefully I did that by showing what I can do now in this season. We'll touch upon your, your route to St Andrews, um, to the club. It, it, it's not been a straightforward one, has it? It's not been a typical in at the academy at, at foundation phase all the way through. No, it's a, it's a hard one because obviously I came, in, I came into academy football quite late and obviously adapting to it was hard at the time. But the, the boys at the time welcomed me well and uh, um, settled quickly. And then it was just about just keep on going and working hard and showing, showing the coaches and that, that I've, I've, I've got something that they need. Mm -hmm. And then just pushing on from there throughout the years, and throughout scholarship and pros and just showing what I can do. And we're, at the moment we're in a little bit of a, a, a sticky patch as it were, a winless run. That's surely going to end soon, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We've been, we've been showing all the signs that we need to win. Obviously, in the championship, some de some games you can dominate and still lose. So it's, it's, it's that tougher league, but I'm sure in no time we'll start getting them wins. And finally, the question I think everyone wants to know, um, can you definitively tell us how to pronounce your surname? <laughs> it's Josh Dacus Cogley. Thank you very much. Congratulations <laughs> on the contract. Thank you.